Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. <laughs> Yo, I'm having a hard time recording this video, but I'm going to get it out for you guys. First, I want to apologize for not uploading the video last week. I should have gave you a heads up that it was going to be finals week, and I just could not get it together. But I'm here with a long-awaited video. Um, I get questions about ANT all the time, and the last time I posted a video, and y'all please go check that out, I did Spilling the Tea on ANT. I'll put a link right here y'all to go to it everybody loves that video it's blowing up like it's really blowing up so i appreciate that all the love and support um please excuse this chair if it's bothering y'all please put it in the comments i will never see this chair again but i'm gonna get right into it this video is basically gonna go into depth about freshman admissions how to apply and all that type of stuff disclaimer i'm getting all my information from online so all this is access to you all like it's not hidden it's not you don't have to go up to the school and get brochures. Like, everything is online. Um, If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, sis. But I know you want to see more of me. Also, please thumb up this video if you liked it. And if you have any questions, comment them down below. And I'm going to get started now. Okay, so two websites that I recommend everybody to go to is the ANT website. And also, there's this website called College Data that literally puts everything you need to know into one little piece. And... You don't have to go searching through the stuff. It's all right there. But if you go to ncad.edu, oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to be looking at my computer because it has all my information on it. But if you go to ncad.edu, it has literally everything you need to know about ANT because it's the ANT website. Duh. So if you're applying to ANT, you can go to Perspective Students. It's a tab at the top of the ANT website. And on there, it has a virtual tour that you can go on. It's basically showing you and giving you information about the campus while even actually going to the campus. Um, they also have information about becoming an Aggie, new student freshmen, new freshman students, <laughs> transfer students, um, campus life, affording college, all that type of stuff that you would need to know if you're trying to apply. But to apply, and this is a big question that I get all the time. So basically, you just go on the ANT website. It has a tab called Apply. You have to make an account for undergrad admissions. And basically, you just go in there and it tell you everything that you need to know. Um, obviously, you would need your high school transcript. You need your SAT scores. You need your weighted GPA, um, all that jazz. Um, I tried to put out this video before the, um, what is it? Before the early admissions deadline, but I missed that. So here we are. So basically, if you're doing early action, you can apply as early as November 15th. Um, that's usually for people trying to get um, a full ride scholarship or if you know for a fact ANT is where you're trying to go. Um, I personally applied a little later than that. I think I, had to, I think I applied in December though. Um, priority applications are due February 1st and regular applications are due during June 30th. I strongly advise do not wait till June 30th. By June 30th, everybody knows what school they're going to. So I would not wait that late. But if, you know, this is your last option and this is something that you wait until the last minute, June 30th is your deadline. Okay. Now, this is something that I did not know when I was applying, but it's good to know that ANT only can take up to 18% of out-of-state students. So, overall, the percentage of students that could be on ANT campus from out-of-state is 18%. So, they strongly advise everybody to apply early if you're out-of-state because the spacing is limited. Um, honestly, that's the, these are factual factual. Um, statements but there are a lot of out-of-state students at ANT so please do not like take that and be stressed about it because you can get in but like I said apply early don't wait till the last minute so as for cost because I get this question all the time how much does it cost to go to ANT a typical in-state student pays about I want it. Okay, this website says $13,786. I feel like the price has gone up over the years. So, I'm going to say about 14, 
15,000. If that makes any difference, so I'm gonna say 14 to 15, give or take. And then out of state, it says it's 26,676. I personally have had my bill up to $32,000 a year. So, and that was when I was living on campus. So, I don't know, take that into account. I don't know, I can't compare any other schools. This is just AT. Um, so, yeah. Next on my list is special events. So, if you're thinking about touring the campus, there's a spring open house March 23rd from 10 a.m. to 2. Admitted student, day, admitted student Day is April 6, 2019, and Transfer Open House is June 5th. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about going to a t or you want to go visit the campus and everything like that. Um, as an incoming freshman, you have to have four units of English, four units of math, three units of science, two units of social studies, and two units of foreign language. Look, I will go to your advisor about details like that. This is another frequently asked question I get all the time. <sighs> Kendra, what is the GPA I need? What SAT score do I need? What ACT score do I need? Okay. This is this is the specs. AT's average admitted freshman profile. This is the average admitted freshman profile. So the freshman that's been coming in, the average, this is this is it. The average GPA is a 3.61, which is weighted. The SAT average is 1041 and the ACT average is a 20. This is not the GPA you need to get in, this is not the SAT score you need to get in, and this is not the ACT score you need to get in. This is just a range or average of what most freshmen get when they get into the school. Most admitted freshmen have these scores. Just keep that in mind. I'm not saying that you cannot get in with a two point something, but I'm just saying the competition is high. The last freshman class that came in, their GPAs were higher than normal. So if that tell you something. But when you're looking for what GPA you need, what SAT score, go on the ANT website and go to the department or the college that you plan to study in. Like I am an engineering student, so I will go to the College of Engineering. I will go to Architecture Engineering and I will go under their tab and it has all the information of what GPA, the minimum GPA you can have, the minimum SAT score you, you need. I don't think they do SAT, I mean, I don't think they do ACT on there, but it shows you GPA that you need. It's very specific to what major. So next question I get is what ANT has to offer as it pertains to majors. Um, We have just about everything, honey, like, you can measure anything, anything in the sciences, anything in engineering, education, communication, family, economics, everything. Um, we also have a plethora of minors as well. There's 117 undergrad degree programs. Um, I personally advise people to go to a school that specializes in your major so that your um, curriculum and your program and everything that you go through is specialized just for you and it's not just kind of like thrown together because it isn't their specialty. So I strongly advise everybody to do their research into that. But that's all I have to say about majors. Next on my list is residence halls. So you can get a on-campus dorm for about two thousand dollars or something like that once you get into like sweet styles trying to get a single eat maybe even trying to get an apartment through the school you can get up to like three thousand dollars per semester for housing um i feel like housing is decent it's something that you have to get used to if anything they're not gonna pack you in you'll never have like a three person um what is it when they put three people in one dorm room? Like, that's way too much. Um, on Auntie's website, they have, like, various pictures of the resident halls and what is in the rooms or what can you expect 
to have in the rooms. I'm really glad they updated that so that you can actually see the room before you get in. It's not like you're going to be able to choose, though. Like, you can't choose your housing your freshman year. But, you know, it's just like a little, a little insight of what you're getting yourself into before you actually tour the campus. Um, next on my list is dining. So, there's a plethora of meal plans you can get for... Okay, when you're on campus, there's a plethora of meal plans you can get. Um, you can get some with, like, more flex or some with more meal swipes, like, to get into the cab and stuff like that. Um, it really varies. It's really up to you. Um, you can get a meal plan as low as, like, a thousand something dollars. Or you can get, like, a commuter meal plan that's as low as, like, five hundred dollars. Um, but that's really up to you based on, you know, how much you eat and all that jazz um i think the calf is it's, it's okay they've definitely upgraded i'm gonna say that i do say they do try their best but i will say it's i mean it's the calf it's like it's like having to go it's like would you want to go to a sit-down restaurant or would you want to go to mcdonald's you know what i'm saying like McDonald's is always there. You can always go there. But sometimes you want to eat good like and go to Red Lobster. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things I have for you all that I wanted to cover today. Um, personally, if you're looking for um, how to pay for your tuition, I strongly advise to go on A&T's website and go to their um, financial aid and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to let you know right now, the financial aid office, they aren't the nicest. Um, the, the best bet you have is to do the FAFSA. If your parents can help you, take that into consideration. You can always apply for um, work study. I mean, sometimes you just got to find the money where you can find the money. I definitely recommend ANC. I do feel like it is very expensive to go to ANC, but I do feel like the education and the experience is worth it. Um, as for academics, I feel like academics is great if this is somewhere you're trying to go. I definitely advise you if you're getting into engineering or if you're into the agriculture because it is a technical school. So. If you're getting trying to get into sciences, but I do know other people that's majoring like education or political science stuff like that, and they feel like they're getting a good education as well. So I'm not gonna knock any other majors. Um, as for campus life, it's what you make it. It's really what you make it. So whether you're in state or out of state student um, looking to apply for ANT. Definitely just, you know, network, get out and do what you want to do. Um, if you have any specific questions about my experience, um, comment them down below. Or if you want me to make a whole separate video about my, my experience of getting in and um, how I pay for schooling and how I feel about my department, stuff like that. If you want to know more about that, then just let me know. Um, oh, I also want to add in that ANC does have good athletics, so, I mean, but I feel like if you're an athlete, you would know that, like, you would know who got good athletics and who recruiting and all that type of stuff, so, yeah. Also, I truly, truly, truly advise everyone to go to the NCAT website that literally has all the information that you need to know, anything you can think of. Also, use YouTube as another, um information site if you want to say that you can find information about ANT. Um, also, I'm definitely someone you can come to if you have any questions. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, but go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. You can DM me on all my social media. They're linked in the description down below. Also, follow me, duh, so you can see what's going on. Because I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Do see.